In this example, we're given the graph of a line and asked to determine the slope, where the slope of a line is the rate at which the output variable, often the y variable, is changing with respect to the input variable, often the x variable. When looking at the graph of a line, the slope of a line indicates how the line is slanted from left to right. Notice how this line is slanted downhill from left to right, which means the slope will be negative. If the line is slanted uphill from left to right, the slope is positive. And there are several ways, and there are several formulas that we can use to express the slope shown here below, where the slope m is equal to the change in output divided by the change in input, where again, if the output variable is y and the input variable is x, then we can say the slope equals the change of y divided by the change of x. And graphically, we can say the slope of a line is equal to the vertical change divided by the horizontal change. So there are two main ways to find the slope of a line if we're given the graph of the line. One way is to select two points on the line and determine the vertical change and horizontal change, then find this quotient. Another way would be to find the coordinates of two points on the line and use this slope formula here where the difference in the y coordinates gives us the change in y or change in output, and the change in the x coordinates gives us the change in x or the change in the input. And we'll go ahead and show both methods in this video. So the first step is to find two convenient points on the line, which means two points we can easily determine the coordinates. For example, this point here, and let's say this point here. We need to be careful about the scaling on the axes, though. Notice how the x-axis is scaled by 2s, the y-axis is scaled by 20s. So this point would have coordinates 0, comma, negative 10, and this point would have coordinates 6, comma, negative 50. And now let's analyze the graph to determine the vertical change and horizontal change from this point on the left to this point on the right. Notice how we'd have to go down. Let's be careful about the number of units. That'd be down 10, 20, 30, 40 units. Because we're going down 40 units, the vertical change is negative 40. If we were to go up, the vertical change would be positive. And then from here, we have to go right 2, 4, 6 units. Because the horizontal change is right 6 units, the horizontal change is positive 6. If we were to go left, the horizontal change would be negative. Now we can determine the slope. The slope m is equal to, again, the vertical change divided by the horizontal change, which in this case would be negative 40 divided by 6, or negative 40 sixths. But just like any fraction, we should express the fraction in simplest form. 40 and 6 share a common factor of 2, so simplifying, we'll divide the numerator and denominator by 2, which gives us negative 20 thirds, which is the slope of the given line. So this tells us that the output, or y, decreases by 20 each time the input, or x, increases by 3. Let's also determine the slope using the slope formula shown here. To keep things organized, let's call this point x sub 1 comma y sub 1, and this point x sub 2 comma y sub 2. So using our slope formula, slope m equals, again, the change in output would be y sub 2 minus y sub 1, which would be negative 50 minus negative 10, divided by x sub 2 minus x sub 1, which will give us the change in input. x sub 2 minus x sub 1 is 6 minus 0. Simplifying, negative 50 minus negative 10 equals negative 50 plus 10, or negative 40, and 6 minus 0 is 6, and we know this simplifies to negative 20 thirds. So of course the result is the same. Graphically, the slope also tells us if we select any point on the line, we can go down 20 units and write 3 units and find another point on the line. For example, if we started at this point here and went down 20 units and write 3 units, notice how we do find another point on the line. And we can do this over and over again. Again, down 20, right 3, down 20, right 3, and so on. I hope you found this helpful.